Okay, so this is just a quick summary video of uh, the entire sort of project removing the EGR cooler and removing the EGR valve. I know it's a quick summary, I just wanted to keep the video short. Uh, I tried to locate all the bolts and the uh, access points you needed to get at. I still do recommend that you use the service manual to do this project. Uh, if you are mechanically minded or very patient, you might be able to still pull it off, but you'll very quickly see that it's quite difficult. Uh, there is a number of steps and stages involved. Uh, so you can just go back through this and use it as a reference if you like. Uh, all in all, I think the job will take you about six hours to do. It might take eight hours. The toughest part of the job is the final part, which is the re removal of the EGR valve. And it's only four bolts, but it's very, very difficult to get at those final four bolts. And it's a very tight fit. If you've got small hands or some specialist tools, some very fine tools that might help you a lot, uh, but for me to get to the EGR valve I had to climb into the engine bay and lay, basically lay on top of the engine face down uh, to look underneath the EGR valve to find the bolt. Uh, it's very difficult to get at and uh, it's very challenging. If you have a magnetic pickup tool that's your best friend for this entire project so uh, good luck guys and uh, comment comment if you uh, have any questions or anything like that because um, I'd like to see if somebody else tries this project out thanks